Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Unscripted with Ken and Thomas, where we're just going to be talking real estate. Great. And today we would like to talk about the myths of for the first time home buyers. That's correct. Yes. So the first thing I think most people think is how am I going to save up 20% and chase this ever increasing real estate market? How do I save 20% for my down payment? Yeah, it definitely seems like a daunting task at times, but there's actually opportunities for you to put down 15, 10, or even 5%. Yes. Now the banks are gonna look at you as a riskier loan, so you're gonna have to pay a mortgage insurance fee on top of your regular monthly payments for your mortgage. But I mean, it's a small price to pay in the long run when you're getting an appreciating uh, asset. Exactly, and I think uh, if, if you're consistently paying rent right now, I think even with the mortgage, uh, insurance, you're you're still it's a safer bet. Yeah, you're paying a little bit more, but it's very similar. So, yeah, but the cost of owning is a that's the cost of owning. Yeah, for sure. Yes. So another thing I've heard a lot from uh, potential buyers is uh, I still have my student loans. So am I going to be able to qualify for a mortgage? Yeah. So uh, a lot of a lot of uh, young professionals actually are afraid of going to the bank because they feel they don't qualify for a mortgage. They feel it's a daunting task for them to, you know, go in and ask. So that's why it, I think that's a barrier of entry for a lot of people. They feel they're just not qualified. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, realist, the, the reality is there is actually the banks not only look at your student loan, they also look at a, a number of factors like your income, uh, what other debt, your car, and there's uh, your credit score is all kinds of factors that the, the bank will look at and the debt to income ratio comes into play and the student loan may not even be the the biggest factor yeah. so i don't think the student loan is actually a big player for for your first home yeah it seems like they just want to make sure that you know you can pay your already existing fees as well as the new mortgage payment exactly exactly also, what is a what is the, another question? The should I hire a real estate professional, or or should I just go into open houses every weekend and and try to find my dream home? Right. So I think there's several aspects of that. I obviously think that's very important that you do because it's going to be one of the biggest investments of your life. So why wouldn't you want a trusted professional to be able to guide you through that whole process, starting from just being absolutely ready for when you actually find your home. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things move really fast and you wanna have everything in place to not miss out on that first first dream home that you really find. And at the end of the day, you're not really paying for your real estate agent from the buyer's side because the commission is coming from the seller anyway. Yes, so yeah, a lot of buyers actually don't understand that the sellers are actually paying for the commission part of it and they can actually hire the best representative to represent them and essentially it would not cost the buyers anything mm -hmm. so and also in terms of scheduling and time frame the the real estate professional is there to to schedule everything for you so you can see all the houses that you want and maybe even more that you never found in within your schedule Especially if you're working with a big brokerage, you might be able to see a bigger network of houses that aren't even on the market yet, which might enable you to skip out on a lot of negotiating mm -hmm. and get a better deal. Exactly. It's just, I don't think, uh, I think there's a lot of buyers that are scared to reach out. And I think there's really, you know, we don't really bite. So I think uh, for the state professionals are, are the way to go. I mean, if you really want to schedule, you know, right off your weekends, every weekend looking for houses, you know, fine, but I think we can save a lot of time there. For sure. Yeah. All right. So uh, if there are any other questions that you guys may have, I think uh, I think that's it for our first episode. And if you like the content, please feel free to like and subscribe down below. And uh, we'll continue making good content for you guys. For sure. All right.